Hey, it's Ricardo and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice. The cumulative DLC for the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Season 1. Now, Sin and Sacrifice is going to introduce 11 new story missions to the mix and expanding even further on the legendary Galactica lore of the first Cylon War. Here is some gameplay footage from the first level. All systems are nominal. Are we just a trade split for them as well? Now, pretty exciting stuff, hey? How did I get there anyway? Well, the mechanics of the game are theoretically the same. There's been a few changes uh, in regards to adding jukebox mode. But as I mentioned in the introduction to this, it introduces 11 new story missions, all revolving around our same old characters. You've got Lucinda Kane, you've got characters like Samantha Agathon, things like that. You've got the good old Battlestar Galactica that comes on a little bit later on in the game, as you can imagine. Now, depending on how much you've played of the original Battlestar Galactica Deadlock game, Sin and Sacrifice allows you to import fleets from previous iterations of the game that you've gone through. So if you've gone through the original mission and I've got a hell of a lot of ships there, then you can start with a hell of a lot of ships. Or, depending on the level that you pick, Lieutenant, Commander or Admiral, you get different amount of resources assigned to you where you can build your fleets up and then effectively start to give it to the Cylons where they don't like it. So players can look forward to the inclusion of two new combat ships as well in Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Sin and Sacrifice. These are going to be the Colonial Heralikis and the Cylon Gorgon as well as the all new crew veterancy system. That's it, the veterancy system. There's yes, this new sir. ship inspector tool as well when you go through the ships, and I'll do a video on the ships of Battlestar Galactica Sin and Sacrifice as well. Now, here we go. Check out the Slytherin website. Um, Slytherin did give me an early press release of this game, and it's rude not to mention their website and the fantastic job they've done on this. And, and to be fair, I'm a Battlestar Galactica fan anyway. So yes, you take sir. control of the Daedalus in this one particular mission. I've jumped in. I'm going to try and give the Cylons a little bit of a see into. I got a good couple of battle stars Launching there as well. Fiber. I'm going to launch all my squadrons, launch the squadrons as well from the Daedalus. So say we I'm going to get my uh, Manticore, which is my Corvette type sh ship, in to yes, engage sir. those hostiles soon because it's a quite nippy ship in there. Hit them get out it'll take a little bit of damage no doubt but Logical as you can see from the screen i've got some battle stars there as well that can get some vipers into the mix as well no jupiter class ships actually on this particular mission i've got um, artemis i've got a minotaur loads of guns on that minotaur um, manticore corvette uh, said the adamant and i got the daedalus and a minerva 
um, ship. Now, the Minerva is like the predecessor to the Battlestar Pegasus yes, or the sir. Mercury class. Okay, so the Mercury class that you see in the in the games, uh, sorry, in the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock TV show, imagined by Ron Moore. This is the predecessor ship, so it's quite a heavy punch. Two batteries of missiles. You got Vipers as well. You know, it really yes, is. It's a capital ship yes, destroying sir. machine. Well, that's why it is. So we're engaging some Cylons. We're going to hit them with a salvo of missiles. We're going to get some focus fire going on as well, so the turrets will focus on certain capital ships. We've got Vipers launched as well, and we're going to get the Vipers out to start mopping up those Cylon Raiders um, as soon as we possibly can. Um, we're going to get the yes, Daedalus Commander. Their Vipers, just to stand back a little bit at yes, the moment. Commander. We're going to stand back and see what else jumps in here. Now, I've played a few missions of this, I have to say. Yes, sir. I'm really enjoying it. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the, the series uh, and the game anyway. And to be fair, this is adding a hell of a lot to Galactica at the turn of the first Cylon War, which is that critical juncture. Now, we've seen quite a few um, places where in other iterations of DLC, like Anabasis, where we've been chased halfway across the galaxy, and in the original Battlestar Galactica, uh, deadlock release where there was 12 odd missions that we beat the Cylons back into submission. Well also this takes in yes, uh, the option that one of the old adversaries is going to be coming back and we'll explore some of that in additional videos. So as you can see now I'm starting to lay some fire down, um, got some focus fire with the turrets, got to get our big gunship going in there as well and our battle star. We're going to focus all that fire and we're just going to take that thing out. Now, with this game, it's not the sort of game you can just pick up and play just like that, right? It's a strategy game. You've got to think about your moves. You've got to micromanage every minutia of what your ship's going to do. Should you turn left? Should you turn right? Should you engage flak if there's missiles coming? Can you take the pain? Is it worthwhile launching Vipers? And then finding that you've got missiles being fired at you. In which case then your Vipers are going to be in danger. But it is really gratifying. You can see there I've destroyed that Cylon ship. And you get the option of viewing the replay of what happened. And we saw the replay of this particular battle at the beginning. And I always like to show the battle. This is what happened. And this is how you can get there, sort of thing. Now, I'm not saying I'm the best player Monic of this, Commander. but I've spent an awful lot of time in the game. And like I say, I do really enjoy it. Now, with those Cylons on the right-hand side, having had a good That's colour on your pasty, time to turn my focus now on some of the other Cylon ships as well that are starting to advance on my group on the left of the screen. Now, I've got two Cylon ships there that I'm currently charging towards. And I am charging towards with a Battlestar and an Artemis. And it's going to be time to lay some missiles down on them. Now, they, they've need, one of those ships has nearly had it, whereas one has got full health, full armor, and full hull. I'm going to direct my squadrons to start going attacking those as well. And start getting the side guns of the Adamant to start laying down some fire. As you see, there's no forward guns on the Adamant. All good stuff. I do like the planning of the game. I like the idea of the elevation. I like the idea of the positioning of the guns to get the right angles to actually have a good go at, at your enemy opponent. So say we all. Very prevalent as well in multiplayer. If you've played this game and you've played it in so multiplayer we as well, that's even better than playing against the AI, as you can imagine. I mean, let's face it, the campaigns I have this found very, very scripted. And the way this damage. game goes, effectively, is you can engage in the scripted Minotaur missions, or you can just knock yourself out doing effectively skirmish Greatest missions contact. and bouncing around the Millennial map. Transponder. Looks like a civilian shuttle. They're hailing Which will allow you to build up resources, build up your reputation, and build your fleet, and then you can go in hard. Now, a colonial shuttle, as you can see here, has help. just jumped in. in. Which case they will appreciate that we are neutralizing a hostile force. And we Lucinda Kane, who is on the Daedalus, has now turned lieutenant. around and said, "Hey, I keep won't it there." I will operational protocol just because you want to indulge some impatient farmers. Okay, so that shuttle is going to be in a holding pattern way off to the left-hand side of the screen. And this is why I left the Daedalus Understood. Vipers, right? 
ready to be deployed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to maneuver those Daedalus Vipers over to the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to get them to protect that shuttle because there are Cylon Raiders in the area and as a result of that I don't want to lose the game or lose this one particular mission by having that shuttle destroyed. So when you do get to play this game, uh, be very mindful of that. Protect that shuttle, keep some Vipers back. You want some Vipers protecting your capital ships as well from their own arsenal, but really you want to have something back. So if anything untoward comes up, an ambush comes up, you've got some Vipers, you've got some of those snub nosed fighters that can zoom off and potentially save the day. And the biggest threat to that there at the moment is going to be from the Cylon Raiders. So again, I'm laying down big fire. moving that shuttle to the maximum even though it won't move I'm just making sure that when it does eventually get to move if it eventually gets to move it's moving as fast as it possibly can as you can see I'm positioning the Viper squadron as well from the Daedalus to protect that shuttle there you are click on defend and they'll go off there at the end of the turn and they'll defend that shuttle in the meantime though there's another Draedus contact at the back there I'm not too worried the ships on the left hand side they're getting a good old pasting they're getting the benefit Missile of the missiles. Prepped. I've got some salvos remaining as well. Missiles are going to be fired. Let's see how this pans out. Everything seems to be in order. That Revenant, that Cylon Revenant, seems to be on its last legs. It's going to go any moment now. Minotaur is taking damage. So you can fire from the batteries going off. There's the impact of the missiles and the guns and the Cylon ship the bottom right hand side is gone we're in attack mode and we're going to start heading directly for that new contact that's popped in at the top of the screen there now that's going to be a Cylon contact but we don't know what it is you see that's the only problem and we've still yes, got sir. one to finish off at the bottom as you can see okay that Minevra Battlestar a huge capital ship destroyer. We're going to start laying down some fire now. All good stuff. I'm quite satisfied that the assets I've put there in place are going to be able to take out, and when I say take out, utterly decimate the Cylons there. Now, I don't want to get too cocky about this simply because this is level one. And if anything, I found out from uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and a base which is the survival aspect uh, DLC of this game is that what might be going right for you on one episode or level of this game the next episode they're gonna Understood. up their game and they're gonna give you a right old pasting and you'll barely come away with it with Understood. a ship so it's very very important I think so keep a clear head about this and you know what enjoy it it's a really good imagination Minotaur is taking damage the tactical game Minerva is taking damage you can see this sort of game Manticore is uh, taking damage not only the Xbox, which is on the Xbox, but also it could quite easily be a capital ship game so on the ocean. Are. A bit like Sid Meier's Pirates. Quite easy. Now one of the things I think is quite good is as well, you're able to go and get in there and you can repair your subsystems when they've got damage. Now if you've got support vessels as well that have been brought in uh, with the game in, in previous DLCs, those support ships can refurnish you with additional missiles. They can do resupply runs with resupply raptors. They can have other raptors go out there as well to restock your armor plating on certain aspects. Now, on this level, I haven't got any. If you've played on a basis, you'll be well familiar with the fact of the support ships. Manticore is taking well. damage. More ships are getting a good pasting. We've got that one Cylon there. Talon, if we use our Minotaur or our Manticore to um, our Corvette class ship, that's also got missiles. So lay down some yes, heavy sir. fire as it swings round the back and all the guns from the other ships as well, whilst moving some other ships in to intercept the remaining unknown target at the top. I think we're going to be okay. The other good thing as well is it's not just a black screen, right? You've got nice nebula type clouds. It's a pretty map, I think. I think it's um, a little bit of artwork being done. It's definitely, the graphics have definitely been tweaked on this. Uh, 
Now I'm playing this. Uh, it's a GTX 1070, uh, 8 gigabyte. So it's not a slouch of a card as well. Um, I think it's working really well. It handles this really well. Some of the other laptops that we've had, and we've had some laptops through um, recently, won't run it. But they're the old Intel type onboard graphics. Great for doing work, but not too good for playing any sort of graphic intense game, even with the graphics turned down. So I think you're looking at least at a, to have a really good experience in this game. You're looking at a 1050 Ti, I would say, if you're an Nvidia person. I mean, just look at the battle damage on the Understood. models now as well. And when you start this game yes, off, Commander. you have the option as well to select veterancy mode, which allows your commanders of your ships to gain experience um, throughout the entire game. And also you get the option to have damage be consistent on your ships until it's repaired. So look at Star Trek. They get into a, pa a good pasting with the Klingons. The Cylons come in, zap, 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 zap. Hull plating everywhere. Next series, it's all repaired. All right, Star Trek Voyager. What happened there? What I like about Battlestar Galactica is it's 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 continuity of damage. Um, look at the episodes. The first game had that nuclear strike. That nuclear strike blast stayed with the Galactica Civilian all the way through right to the very end and you could see it on the model. It wasn't three. brushed over, they didn't get out there with the paintbrushes. Now as you can see I've destroyed all those ships, absolutely fantastic, I managed to do it and I didn't lose a ship and I did pretty well, I think. Now all that aside, I think it's probably worthwhile reviewing. Um, the video again and seeing what was going on in regards to what really happened from a camera point of view and this is one of the good things about this game so here we go there's my Battlestar fleet Vipers have been launched there's the Daedalus at the back excellent this excellent starry nightscape off they go they're engaging missiles are being fired oh that's great great That sort of gun cam view as well, like a wiper, laying it onto the silence. That real gratifying uh, explosion when you do destroy the silence as well. Now we've got a Cylon gun cam, or just behind the pilot. Some battle stars maneuvering now, laying down the fire. There's a Viper squadron. Run by that shuttle. Again, punching those missiles, punching into the Incoming. into the Cylon ships. Incoming. Incoming. Shuttle jumping in. Missiles making contact. Cylons being destroyed. How cool is that? It's interesting to note, this is actually my second go of this level, I must admit. The first go didn't go too well. It was a little bit rusty. I hadn't played it for a couple of weeks. And I actually got... Well, I got it handed to me, I have to admit. And at the end of this video, I, I put... Um, I put the video on as well if you want to watch me get absolutely pasted. It didn't come out as well as what I did uh, the second time. But hey, you live and learn. And that's what this game's all about, right? So, what I'm going to do now, at the end of this, I'm going to put the other video on. You see how things didn't go that well. Check out the, the new videos in the series. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, Sin and Sacrifice, the new DLC. Follow on to Battlestar Galactica on a basis. Is out on the 19th of March. This is a pre release copy as given to me by Silverman Games. I'm going to put some more videos on YouTube as well, so check it out. Thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so. And check back for more videos in the series. Thanks for your support.
Escort clearance zone is active. They're giving us a hell of a storm, sir. Anything done to manual. We've been through work. Keep your time to block and watch for clearance. Now. 